So you know the situation. You woken up, checked your phone, a lot of shitty stuff on there, checked your email, more shitty stuff, and now you're just frazzled and your day has gone to shit. So welcome to this week's live. My name is Thasmi Nishat, or Smiya for short, and I'm a coach and healer at Nerd for Healing. And today the topic is cultivating yourself and why that is important. So in 2018, I was in a situation where I wasn't working, I wasn't in school, I was living at my parents' house. And you know, the situation seems very negative on the outside. And initially I was, I was kind of like okay with it, but also internalizing like this is a negative situation for you to be in. And so the way I actually turned that around, I saw the blessing in it. And that allowed me to kind of really get back to my roots and discover like um, and rebuild my foundation. And the biggest shift um, during that time was actually starting a daily practice. Um, I started with gratitude and meditation and in a really short while, like something that seemed shitty on the outside, like I was able to turn it around to where like I had the same situation on the outside, but internally I felt so much better. And the key thing with that was just like learning unconditional contentment like no matter what's going on outside i know how to cultivate what's going on in here so sometimes like we've all heard like you know five things that every millionaire does to have like a successful life and it's like a morning routine is always on that list and when i read these articles it's like it always felt a bit dry to me it's like okay i do the morning routine to like be successful be productive, whatever, like, yeah, that's a good thing in theory. But what really, um, like, clicked it for me for why it's important is not because of being productive or anything like that, but it's actually a tool for liberation, um, to be able to cultivate yourself regardless of what's going on on the outside. We're all inundated with, um, with stuff, like from work, from the news, from our families, from our friends, and it's just like all of the stimu- stimulus coming at us. And it's really easy to let that be our set point and become frazzled in the, in the meantime. But taking the time to um, build a practice of cultivating within yourself, your own energy, that is what allows you to kind of unplug from all of this noise around you. I do think there is an agenda to like hook people into like, you know, various, you know, being triggered all the time, watching the news. Not that the news doesn't have important things to say, but like, you know, we all know like how the algorithms favor things that keep us in a stress response, right? So I think knowing that there is an agenda to kind of disempower people in a sense, I think that's another reason why it is so important to like make the daily practice to cultivate yourself. Because on one, on one, I think it's also like if you want to look at it at a quantum perspective, it's just like on one timeline we have everything going to shit, right? And then, but we can choose to not engage in that timeline by cultivating our energy and our and our self. So the thing with um, the daily practice, which you know traditionally it's a morning routine. Uh, let me get my phone. Yeah, so traditionally with the, it's like a morning routine um, or an evening routine, but like I like to think of it as just like you, you build a muscle of kind of getting back to your set point. So I'll go, I'll go into like which things you can do for cultivating your set point, but you know, it could be morning or evening, but I like to do it like throughout the day when I notice myself like feeling a bit off. So the why it's powerful is it creates like a reference point for like okay this is how I feel when I'm my most authentic most empowered most content and so you can go about your day but like you'll have the reference point more and more like embodied and in your mind right so like you can still have let's say like a toxic job that you go to but the more and more you practice the inner cultivation the more and more you um, let's put it this way, like when you're in a toxic situation, sometimes you get used to it and you don't see, like you might be cognizant that it's toxic, but you get so used to it that it becomes a little bit normal. But the more you practice um, in training to your authentic set point, the more like that the toxicity doesn't become too normal for you. So in that example, the discrepancy between your authentic set point and the job will become more noticeable 
and that will build more spaciousness and resourcefulness within yourself to change that. Whereas before you might just kind of be stuck in like a stress response pattern and it might be difficult to change that, right? So the thing is with like the, the daily cultivation, it's, it allows you the tools to change your situation, but it's not going to necessarily like change it on its, in itself. So the trap that I got into when I first started doing the daily routine and I started feeling like this unconditional contentment, I, whenever a negative situation would arise, I'd be like, okay, no, I got to get back to my practice and like get back to my set point. The thing is though, I still needed to clean up like whatever negative thing was going on. So it's not like, sometimes it can be used as a way to like spiritually bypass and like not dive into the negative thing that's asking for your attention. So I just want to get that heads up that like, it's a tool for building more spaciousness and building a reference point, but you still got to do the work in cleaning up like whatever is coming up. So, yeah, so I think some examples of things that you can do for your daily practice. There's so many, but like what I started with was 20 minutes of meditation, listening to background noise every day. If that seems like a bit much, just start with like five minutes. Just like whatever seems manageable to you, and then you can build up the muscle and doing it more and more. And, you know, if you're new to starting a practice, it's like, at first it might feel a little we bit weird. It's like, why am I doing this? Because it, it's, it's just kind of like, you know, um, you're creating a new pathway in your brain, and it just feels weird and uncomfortable at first. But the more you do it, the, more you, the easier it gets. Um, and also, like, it reinforces itself because... You know, a lot of the practices, like for example, meditation, you'll notice yourself feeling better um, a lot of times after you do it. So you get that positive reinforcement and then it'll be easier and easier to do it. So yeah, like some examples of things you can do for your practices. So meditation, like I highly recommend that all the time. Gratitude, dancing, qigong, uh, pranayama slash breath work, giving yourself a massage, um, mirror work, affirmations, singing, making tea, praying, um, having sex or masturbating. Um, yeah, like those are some examples of things you can do. I like to mix it up with like more embodied, like using the body kind of thing and also more like mental cultivation as well. So yeah, if I hope that's helpful and I'll do a bit of a tapping routine. So to help those of you who are curious about starting a routine but like maybe feel a bit daunted by it. So as always we start with the karate chop point. So even though I know it would be good to take some time for myself and do self-care and do these practices that are good for me I just feel like I don't have the time for it. I don't know how to start. I'm caught up in so much other things already. And it feels hard to make space for more stuff. But even though I feel like I don't have the time or the energy or the space to do more self-care to do more practices for myself. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. I'm releasing the idea that I don't have the time or space for it. Because I know I can put in even five minutes to take care of myself. I'm releasing the idea that I don't have enough time to take care of myself. <sighs> and replacing it with the knowing that I can make this a priority. Because I deeply and completely love accept and forgive myself.
So the important thing also to keep in mind is like not to beat yourself up about this. Take it easy, make it playful, act it like it's an experiment of like, okay, maybe today I'll try five minutes of meditation, see how it goes. Maybe tomorrow I'll try some Qigong, whatever. Like mix it up, play around. It's supposed to be fun, right? Um, and it's supposed to be a liberatory, awesome tool. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. Some announcements, the free breakup coaching is this Thursday. And so yeah, invite your friends who are going through a breakup or if you're going through a breakup, it'll be great. And otherwise, I'll catch you next week. Take care.